Hello, friends. It's Mailbag Monday. I love getting these questions in my email box. I'll put the link down below. If you have any questions you want me to answer, I am happy to do that. But before we get started, a couple of disclaimers. One, I am a nutrition educator. That means I am not a doctor, so I cannot treat, diagnose, or prescribe nor do I want to, but I'm not able to do that. I help people with holistic health and wellness, finding real food solutions for chronic health issues. I also am not your personal wellness physician professional. I also am not your personal wellness professional. So sometimes some of the questions that I get are verging on very personal. I'm not able to answer those here. If you would like to work with me to get answers to those kinds of questions, I'll leave that link down below as well. You are certainly welcome to do that. Today is about answering questions that have come into the mailbag and providing information that will help you. So first question today, yogurt. Why do you always recommend organic whole fat yogurt and isn't low fat better? Great question. So I am a fan of organic dairy because if it is organic, there is no added hormone. So no RBST, no RBGH. Organic also means that the cows are not given genetically modified feed. They are not given added antibiotics and those kinds of things. Anything that's given to the cow does not go away when they milk that cow. And so it gets passed along in whatever dairy products you're consuming. I understand that organic is more. If you cannot do organic dairy because of the price, I do encourage you to at least look for milk that says that it is not from cows that are given artificial hormones. If at all possible, it would also be really great to find cows that are not being given antibiotics because there are studies that show those antibiotics passed along in animal products are partially responsible for the increase of MRSA and all those other kinds of antibiotic resistant diseases. So not a great choice. Why whole milk instead of low fat? It's because our body actually needs that fat. There are fat activated vitamins, A, D, E, and K. And if we don't have enough fat in the diet, then we're not going to properly be able to utilize those fat activated vitamins. Milk happens to be a great source of vitamin D. It is added. But if you're not getting enough fat with your dairy, then you're not properly using it. So whole fat, organic. And I also am a big fan of using yogurt in the diet because yogurt is has a little bit of extra probiotic activity to it. It's a fermented or a lacto-fermented food. So that's a great choice. All right, next question. What is the best vegetable to eat? This made me laugh. I love this question. The best vegetable, the ones that you will eat. I am not a fan of saying, oh, you must have this vegetable or that vegetable or taking a deep dive into, oh, broccoli has blah, blah, blah. Beets have blah, blah, blah. We don't want to do that. We just want to eat a variety of vegetables. Eat the rainbow. Choose lots of different colorful foods. Don't stick with the same ones all the time. And the best vegetable is the one that you will eat. If you only eat a couple of vegetables, I would encourage you to try to branch out and eat more vegetables to learn how to add them into your diet. Lots of delicious ways to do that. And if you need help with that, you can always check the blog because I have a lot of recipes over there. All right, last question. Cloth grocery bags. I keep forgetting the bags at home. Do you have any suggestions? I love, first of all, that you're wanting to use cloth bags. I think it's great because it helps cut down on plastic and paper at the grocery store. It's reusable, so it's eco-friendly. I will share that I frequently have so many bags because they come into my life for so many different reasons that I wind up giving them away. I donate them regularly. I have learned that I probably only need about one or two cooler bags and maybe eight to 10 regular bags. And I don't think I often shop above and beyond that. So that's great. I would encourage you to do the same. And here's a couple of tips that I have for how to remember to do it. One, have a drop spot by the door. So that's what I do. When I bring them into my house, they all get stuffed back inside each other and put on a little seat that I have near my front door so that when I go out, I remember to take them with me. 
The other thing you could do is you could always just immediately put it back in the car when you put it away. After you finish putting away your groceries, just take the bags right back out to the car. Most of us don't do that, though. We wait till the next time we go to the car. The other thing that is really helpful is to maybe keep a couple of bags in the front seat. If you're not ferrying passengers around in your front seat a lot, seeing those bags there will remind you to grab them and take them into the grocery store. I will share that I have been known to go into the grocery store, forget my bags. And if I'm not taking that many things, I will simply say no bag, please. And I will carry it out. I look really silly because I've got an armful of groceries, but then I open the bag of my car and I bag them all up. So it's not that bad. And then you do that a few times and it helps you to remember more often. The third thing that I think would be potentially helpful, I know a couple of people who have a sticky note on their dashboard and it says grocery bag, question mark, to help them remember if they're at the grocery store that they need a bag. I will share that I'm trying to take it one step further and I'm trying to be a little bit better about if I go somewhere other than the grocery store, if I go to the craft store, or if I go to the hardware store, or other things like that, that can also be a really great place to bring your bag. Because if you're still collecting plastic bags at all these other places, why not use the cloth bags that you have for more than your groceries? I also love taking it to the library with me. Not that the library gives out bags, but it makes it a whole lot easier to bring all my books home. So that is the Mailbag Monday questions for this time. As I said, I'll put the links down below. I love getting your questions and answering them. So thank you, everybody who keeps sending them in. And I also want to encourage you to always Think about the things that you're doing and remember in all you do to make today a healthy day. Bye, folks.